Captain and Nami go again already? Yes. Why did you let her go? Surely you haven't forgotten what misfortune will befall her if she proceeds with the ascension ceremony. It'll be a disaster. A girl who is not of our blood cannot hope to ascend to such power. She may not be of our blood, but we've always thought of her as a real daughter. I know, but now we have to face the truth. It's just so cruel. The ritual of ascension requires me to be a direct descendant in order to inherit the power. But is blood really that important? What can one do when one loses what matters most? I don't know. But I won't fail. So <laughs> okay. I will inherit their power and prove that there's something more important. It's funny how you love certain characters and just don't give two shits about other ones. She's one of the ones I just don't care about. Is that the sacred sword? Dragonbane? Yelling, sorry. Sorrowful spirit, death has brought you no peace. But with my hand. Please stop! I cannot ignore this. If I do not intervene, her spirit will unleash great tragedy upon you. No. This ends now. Human. Surely you do not intend to take her place. I really don't want to. I don't want to die. But... I thought my anger and sadness were greater than anyone else's. No. <laughs> That's not it. It's that her anguish hurts me even more than it hurts her. Then, it is you I shall be seeing soon. Seeing soon? That's right. I had forgotten about your duty, noble Valkyrie. Thank you. There is more than one path. Let us go. Let us go, my friends. Okay, so now we also have Nanami. And even though she's not one of my favorites, I might put her in the party just because I really don't like Jolanda either. Okay, now we return here. Because, uh, there's mention of the sword dragon bane, and we can get it now. If I know where I'm going. 
looks like the right place. Honored parents, please accept this. Honored parents? What a freaking weirdo. Your parents aren't around. You didn't talk to me? I will never forget what you did for me, Nanami. I pray for your safe travels. Yeah, so Nanami switched places with her so that she could finish the ascension and I... at least I assume. That's <laughs> why so she switched with her. Whatever it does. Alright, time for more spiritual concentration. Dungeon time! Some swamp. Alright, let's see what else there is. have been in a different city. You look just like Nanami's father! <laughs> it's impressive. You came here you come here every day to pray, but for what? For the safe return of my brother. He has gone on a quest to find medicine to treat my eyes. I see. <laughs> Get it? I see. <laughs> an ogre? Yes, an ogre demon has been sighted near High Land. Then I shall slay this ogre. It seems you have no further need for those eyes. No! no! Earlier, a young man came here. At first I mistook him for you. Could it be? He must have been my brother. My brother and I are twins. Ah, of course. He said to give you this amulet. I've been holding it for you. Why? Here. Well, he knew you were coming here, didn't he? Truly, twins are a wonder. And what will your soul project upon this dark cave? Soul? I possess no such thing. Ha! I also like how when they show his head, he doesn't have a shirt on, but there he does have a shirt on. Here they just added a shirt on the Japanese word, or the English version. <laughs> oh, dare an ogre be naked. Which would your sister prefer? You dying so that she may live. Or you surviving by her side when she dies. I shall not die today, nor shall you take my sister. 
One cannot get something for nothing in this world. If it is life that you seek, life is the price you must pay. I just seek vision, actually, not life. I offer you the soul stone in exchange for your life. I thought I made it clear. I shall not die today! I never had any intent of accepting your bargain. What? Then I will take it by force. <laughs>